Welcome Pisces. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Dragon Oracle cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it here. We will get a Dragon Oracle for you first. What have we got here for you Pisces? One card for Pisces please. I love, I love this round because it, they have been very selective in which card comes for which sign. So sometimes it comes quick, sometimes it takes a few shuffles. So we shall see, Pisces. The anticipation is exciting, I have to say. One card for Pisces, please. There it is. There it is. Archangel Gabrielle's dragon. Beautiful. Check that out. Wow. Okay. Brings purification. Self-discipline dis will speed ascension. And bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabrielle's diamond. Whoa, that is so cool. Okay, so we'll read that at the end. Let me find it and we will get it ready. Where is it? This is the million dollar question. Archangel Gabrielle's dragon. There it is. Okay. Alrighty, Pisces. Okay, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's pick these up. Okay, so. Self-discipline. Will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry... Archangel Gabrielle's Diamond. Is that two cards? Yes. And we have that one. Okay. Let's have a look what's going on here. So something needs purifying, hey? Brings purification. Interesting. So we've got this first card, which is pause. So taking a moment. It's like traveling along the jersey. Jersey. Traveling along the journey. And just taking a moment to go, hmm. Which direction shall I go in now? Sort of like this contemplation. Okay, what else do we have? Be gentle with yourself. Okay. Illumination. Interesting, Pisces. Interesting energy here, actually. Very interesting energy. Okay, so pause. Let's start with pause for Pisces. Okay, we've just had these fling out. Gosh, it's very, very intense energy. Hang on. Okay, so we've got our first three cards here. Tell me more about pause for Pisces here. Something really big is going on in your life here, yeah, Pisces. Okay, so... There's two cards out here. Wow. Wow. Something really big has happened. Something massively unexpected has happened. Some, it feels like maybe some things have come crashing down, like the, the tower has gone. Thunderbolt through the tower and it's all come crashing down. I just wonder if this is a past energy here because I'm not feeling... The intensity of the, the tower so much as what I am of this, I suppose, needing to, to purify, right? Um, and I, I guess this could be this in-between state of the tower has happened and there's this time where it's like, whoa, that literally just happened and then new beginning awaits, but there's this this time in between here which is the pause right it's kind of like this hmm. 
Mm. Taking a moment here, Pisces. Taking a moment. Okay, taking a moment to allow these emotions to come up. To, to you know, this is the thing. Okay, this is, I love this. I love the love, love us. The, the, the full card is about taking this leap of faith, right? Going on this new journey, only taking what you need, leaving behind what doesn't serve you. Okay, the fool is suspended here. The fool is not leaping. He is, it's, it's a moment in time where he's about to take this leap, but he's frozen. He's frozen there. Right? It's like taking a photograph, right? It's this one moment in time. And in this moment, this is your pause. This is your pause to allow the sorrow to come up, to allow these emotions, because remembering that the fool only takes what he needs. Okay? And the sorrow is not to go on the journey with you in this next leg of the journey. Okay? Um, yes. So the sorrow needs to be released. Okay? And... Even though we're talking about a pause, and I've just kind of talked about it as a moment in time, this moment will be as long as it needs to be in order for the sorrow to be released, okay? So be patient. Be patient with yourself. There may be stuff that comes up that you feel you've already dealt with here, Pisces. But it's it's sort of like this layer, right? It's like the moon, yeah? The moon, you know, has the the uh, it you know shines that slightest bit when it is the new moon right and it graduates to the full moon here and that takes time it's a cycle which takes time and it goes through the cycle and back to the beginning and around and around it goes and it's sort of the same with healing you know you think that, oh yeah, I've done that, I've done that, and then ah, but comes again into, into vision, right? To be seen, it has the light shone upon it, to be looked at again. What else is there that needs to be looked at, yeah? The other thing I want to say about this is remembering that even though only a tiny part of the moon is shining, the moon is still whole. It is still complete. It doesn't mean that the moon is only yay big. It doesn't mean that the moon is only that big. It's still a whole moon, right? So remember that about yourself. Even though some days it's only a little bit of you that can shine here, Pisces. Other days it's all of you, you know? But you're still whole. You're not missing anything. It is there in the shadows to be found by you. All that stuff that you put in the darkness, it's there to be illuminated in order to come out. Okay? And it's sometimes that's really hard and horrible. It's also necessary. Okay? Clinging to the past. This is you, Pisces. This card always reminds me of you putting a, you know, rose-coloured glasses on and pretending like everything's fine and dandy when it's not. Right? Blinging it up to make it look good when it's not. I almost kind of like saw this here as part of the moon in the background here. Right? Illuminating. Making the bling shine, but it's just for show. Because what's really under that box is this. Compromise. Look at this. This is stubbornness. Yeah? There's this sense of not wanting to share. And maybe this is you not wanting to share your emotions, potentially. Wanting to keep it to yourself. Sorry here. This is this person sitting alone in their pain. 
this person here is the only person under this box this is what goes on in the box maybe it is time to share what's going on here Pisces hmm maybe that's something that needs to be done differently for you maybe before you wouldn't have shared it maybe it's time to do something different here be gentle with yourself yes this is the same with this patience right just like you would with anyone else who's going through whatever it is that you are going through that needs to be released right be gentle with yourself Pisces don't be hard on yourself because the fact of the matter is this is an opportunity for growth and that's always a great thing okay so let's have a look at be gentle with yourself for Pisces please those two cards have just slipped out and I don't like how they've come out. If they are meant to come out, they will. Okay, I've got one card on the floor that I need to pick up here, Pisces. Okay. And this is isolation. Isolation. This is what you have done to protect yourself. This is from past hurts. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be in a relationship necessarily. Um, this could be you even, I want to say, beating yourself up for potentially causing past hurts. This could be hurts from when you were a child. This could be the things that you don't want to look at, that you put the box over your head to say, it's all right. It's all right. I'm fine. Everything's fine. The only way to melt this ice that surrounds you here, Pisces, is through the warmth of your tears. You see... Some of you see tears as a weakness, as a bad thing, but in fact the tears bring warmth to your life because it allows the ice to melt away, to allow the sunshine in, to allow the warmth of others in. Look at the sunshine here, ready to rise again. Because when the ice has melted away, Your world has been given permission to flourish. And you think it's it's as though some of you believe that it has flourished. But this is the bling that has been put on the box. This here is real. It's not make-believe. We have totality here. This is about connection. Allowing yourself to connect with others. Through opening up, taking the box off your head and allowing the warmth of the tears to melt the ice. Yeah. Wow, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous here. Yeah, because look what awaits you. This beautiful new beginning here, right? Um, something passionate, full of abundance, you know. For some of you, this could actually be about a work situation that has gone incredibly wrong. And it could be that you lost everything. And there's something that has come up for you that you would like to start. Um, but what needs to happen first is all this needs to clear out so that you can now take this leap of faith into this new beginning that awaits you. There's a little bit of fear of doing that. So the healing has to be done in order for you to catapult forward here. Okay. Um, yeah, so in that regard... Um, 
with this be gentle with yourself I want to say here oh what was this this is all hang on a minute just give me a minute here Pisces because this is um something that is quite major in your life this is quite a a huge transformation for some of you um which is a beautiful thing um and i feel like this is actually part of your soul purpose um whether this is business relationship anything the the um need to be gentle with yourself is what is necessary necessary for you to be able to proceed forward there is no other way you must be gentle with yourself because you can be gentle with everyone around you or at least appear to be gentle with everyone around you but it is only to a certain point because if you are not being gentle with yourself, you can't give away what you do not have, right? So you can only give away the amount that you give to yourself. So this is a perfect op opportunity for you to learn to be gentle with yourself and in turn you will become a lot more gentle with those around you. Because we can pretend to be a certain way, but unless that is true for us, it will come across as inauthentic. And other people will feel that. They will feel maybe a hug from you, which is just, yes, yes, that's a hug. Instead of a heart felt, present, authentic hug, right? Just as an example here. Anyway, okay. beyond illusion this is this transformation a transformation it's not the illusion of the transformation it's the actual transformation happening right this i just keep coming back to this right Get present, get real. That's all I can say is get present, get real. Okay, uh, and I mean that in the most loving way. Be honest with yourself here, Pisces, because if you're not, you're not just deceiving any, everyone around you. You're also deceiving yourself. You're not doing anyone any favours, let alone you. Okay? Look at this person here, right? This reminds me of the fool as he travels along his journey. Here he starts out, yes, everything's wonderful. I'm going to take this leap of faith and away I go. As he walks the terrain, he learns he needs to go within and use his own wisdom, use what he has inside, use his own light within to lead the way, to light the path, to illuminate what it is that needs to be seen in order to take the next step forward, right? This illumination here is what I am talking about. Utilising what is around him in order to, to, in order to travel the path so that he can get to where he needs to go. This is about growth for you here, Pisces. Internal growth. Okay, illumination. Tell me more about this. I feel like that wasn't ready. Okay, illumination. I feel like this is a decision, a decision for you to make about your life and how you want to travel your path, right? Thank goodness it landed on the table. Thank you. Stay on the table. Okay. That was there. These were here. Illumination. Any more? I reckon that's enough. Okay, Pisces, just gives me a really good picture here. Oh, wow. How much did... Wow. Okay, that's 
it's like a real whippet. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. So we've got <clears throat> new vision, new vision. Look at this, new vision, you stepping into that master of who you truly are to expand into a whole new you. This is shedding on light, right? This is the illumination on of the moon, yeah? Onto the master of who you are. Here Pisces, allowing this to come out, right? This is what happens when you take the box off your head, right? When you allow your light to shine to lead the way. You step into you, the master of your life. No one else can do that, only you. And you can't hand the reins to anyone else to do that because no one else can live your life for you. No one else can travel that journey because I tell you what, if you allow that to happen, anything that you have come up against will come up again until you learn the lesson for yourself. <clears throat> See a new vision for your life. Step out of that box. Step out of the box. Take the box off here, Pisces. Yes. Stop fighting it. Right? Stop fighting it. Take the armour off and go into the rain and jump in the pelvic puddles. Do something different. From what you've always done. And do it honestly. Not through an illusion. But do it honestly. Okay. Become aware of the stress. That you try to keep. In check. And not share with anyone else. Because it's kind of like this. This is what's going on in this box here of like, oh my gosh, it's all going to fall apart and I don't know what to do and I'm only just holding it together and I'm not sharing that with anyone. Okay, be aware. Be aware of how that is part of your shadow self, right? That isn't allowing this master to come forth to lead the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. See, this is this is about you needing to take flight, take flight, right? Um, for yourself here. Okay. Um, it's it's a scary thing to do, it's a very vulnerable thing to do. Um, but not carrying the burden of um others, actually stepping into the um your authentic ability here, Pisces. Um, which is not everybody else's, right? Your authentic ability. It's kind of like having this bird here has had broken wings for so long and they had to heal, so it had to be in the cage. Now it's ready to fly. It's a little bit like, oh, I don't know if I can do that like the others because the wings need, you know, it's, it's scared. It's scared the wings are not going to work like they once did. And I feel like this is part of you. But once you take that leap, right once you've had this pause and you take that leap and fly you're gonna have a breakthrough you're gonna break through this ice here it's no longer gonna keep you caged in right and you are going to absolutely shine okay Let's have a look what this has to say to you. Okay, Archangel Gabrielle's dragon brings pur purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabrielle's diamond about this dragon. Fifth dimensional diamond white dragons serve Archangel Gabrielle, the mighty pure white angel of clarity, joy and hope. Hold that closer because that is just so beautiful. When we are, or sorry, when we are ready to connect more deeply to him, his dragons shine their crystal light into our energy fields and physical body, allowing deep cleansing and purification to take place. They light up our true essence and we become transparent to the spiritual world. This means that all the lower energies that have not yet been released from our auric field become visible yes that's the illumination right love it so it is important to forgive love and respect ourselves and others so that our aura 
becomes totally clear. Then the dragons will rejoice. For we are ready to walk the diamond ascension path. They will lead the way, clearing and energizing our sparkling new high frequency journey and bringing us clarity, hope and joy. So that Archangel Gabriel, with his diamond wings, can over light us. Oh, I love this. Okay, so the guidance of this card. Receiving this card implies you are expected to cooperate with Archangel Gabriel's diamond white dragons, using self-examination and self-discipline to accelerate your ascension. The dragons can then illuminate you internally with happiness, clarity and higher expectation. You will become a shining beacon. Yeah, 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 right? Shining beacon, right? Sorry, upside down. Anyway, right, where was I? Shining beacon. You will become a shining beacon and will automatically radiate light that shows others the way. You will have earned the right to be a walking master. How cool, right? A walking master. The master. Pisces, wow. You will carry in your fields the glorious light of Archangel Gabriel's cosmic diamond, which is a life transforming ascension tool. The diamond white dragons will swirl and dance around you, ensuring that the glittering, shimmering cosmic diamond stays securely in place over your energy fields. It will protect your aura and fill you with joy, purity and bliss. Wow, that is something else, ain't it? That's awesome. What a way to um, finish that reading. Okay. Pisces, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your shining, beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.